channel um this is who is in love with you we got three pals today um route 66 because i live in arizona and i am from chicago so uh there is a route 66 that ends that begins in chicago and ends in phoenix so that this is my road this is my road and when i drove here i kind of drove on route 66 i kind of sort of did anyways and then pal b is support your local hvac tech um i put that one simply because it's hot as hell out here and they be working hard they be working hard i can i can 100 say that and then hank hill because that that picture of him is hilarious so I want y'all to pick the path that best resonates with you. Go to your first mind because your first mind is always and will forever be your best mind. Okay? Will forever be your best mind. Always go with your first. Um, and we're going to get started. Hi, my loves. Okay, so my beautiful souls, all the beautiful people. Who, why do I, who, who, we, okay. I'm trying to figure out how to start um who who is in love with you power one who is in love with you Who is in love with Pal A? The death card. There's an energy of change. There's an energy of Scorpio. There is a, I forgot the death card is a Scorpio. That makes a whole lot of sense, though. <laughs> the Knight of Wands. We have Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. So this is someone that is going through some type of transformative period in their life. Maybe this person has made some type of dramatic change or has been through a major change some, in some type of way in their life. Um, we have the Knight of Wands, and the Knight of Wands is simply a card about someone being very passionate about something. So maybe this person went through some type of change that they're working on now that they're investing in, and it's very, very, like, whatever they're doing right now, they're very passionate and focused on. Now, the Knight of Wands is not a king yet. He's not a king. He or she is not a king. So they are in the energy of, yes. Yes, I'm almost there. Yes, I really, really do, do desire this. But I also might lose interest or I might not be able to know how to handle this energy once I get it. But, but, but they're putting in effort and they're wanting to invest. Which is good. You know, it's good. We have a lot of energy of change. If you think about it, right? Um... The Death card is a change card. The, the Will of Card, the Will of Fortune is a card of what goes up and what goes down. Everything is constantly changing, constantly moving. Um, the Tower card is a card of dramatic change, you know, um, transformation. It's a lot of transform, transformative energy. That's what I'm trying to say. Uh, with your person um, is very strong and it seems like whatever is happening is about to go into their favor I feel like even you have the ten of um, ten of swords and that is a card to me of transformative change it's a card of like it's the tenth card of the deck and depending on your interpretation of the ten of swords minds is kind of like you know, you've been through everything and now you hit the Ten of Swords and, you know, you're feeling rock bottom, but you have no choice but to go up because there's no more space to go down, right? You know, healing, trying to get over it, trying to be better, trying to move forward, right? Because I don't believe in being stagnant because what the fuck is the purpose of that, right? So, I feel like your person is definitely in this energy. So something happened. Something happened. This is how you know who they are and... It might be so strongly of a change you might see it outwardly. 
because I don't think this is like internal struggles. I see this person in the movement of progress. I, I feel like something, maybe they changed locations. Maybe they changed careers. Maybe they broke up with someone. Um, maybe this person is having a shift in a goal that they desire, but it's just something that they are coming from the past and they are 100% in the future. I don't even think they can go to the back to the past if they wanted to. So it's just like, just seems like this person is progressing in some type of way now i want to get some personality traits who is in love with pal a this person is a visionary they have like i told you before like they have this knight of wands energy and it's very very <clears throat> it's very very focused on some type of endeavor this person has a vision of their future that they are working towards um this person is someone who is definitely intimately connected with the divine they this person is a prayer warrior they might know people who are prayer warriors this person might just be really really close to their spiritual leader whoever they believe in have a very strong connection with them this person is someone who is good at talking um very very good at talking very good at being able to speak their mind they might have a lot of friends this person might have a lot of uh, business relationships they might be popular on social media they might have a lot of social awareness you know i feel like this person is also very uh, sexually erotic they have a lot of sexual energy um it might just come out their pores you know uh, somebody told me that once <laughs> um but i just feel like overall this person seems like they have a goal that they are focused on and they are going to be spreading the word about it because even before i was like i don't feel like this i feel like you'll be able to outwardly see what is progressing in their life truly you know let me put this back because I don't have no more space on my table for extra shit. Okay, come on. Oh, no, 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 no. This is my favorite. I want that. <laughs> so, um, so this person is in love with you or they have like a really, 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 really strong crush on you. Um, I don't know if I should ask them how they from this deck or my deck i'm sorry i'm early in the morning and um that is my wake up alarm so i'm trying to do y'all reading before i go to work today because i love you and i'm trying so oh it's it's and it's my mommy's birthday so for the people who are watching this just say a quick happy birthday to my mama she reads the comments she would be greatly appreciated. Um, appreciative. So, actually, how does Pal A's person like if they had to say something to them, what would they what would they say? Like, you know, why do they love them? How do they feel? What's a good card? For, okay. Oh. She was the prettiest hell I ever been in. I didn't mind burning at all. Okay. All right. Do more of what makes your soul happy. Okay. All right. Be easy to love, hard to break, and impossible to forget. So this person really, like, feel like you are beautiful. And you might have given them hell. You might have done some things, said some things that has made them feel uneasy. But it just seems like your person... You know, even though you guys have probably been through something or if you haven't been through something with this person, um, it just seems like your person genuinely thinks that you're the most beautiful thing they ever saw. And even though you guys go through things, they still enjoy you. Um, your person wants to see you happy. Uh, I, I really, really feel like they want to make you smile. They want to see your soul smiling. They want you to accomplish the things that make you happy. This person is like, you know, don't be so hard on the people that love you. 
because you are impossible to forget. I like that. I'll, look, I'll, I'll take that one. I'll take that. <laughs> okay, so how does your person like feel? What's the question? Why do they love you? Why does your person, pal, a love you? Why does your person, pal, a love you? Why do they love you? This person loves you because you take care of yourself. You are very passionate about the things that you want in your life. And when this person is away from you, they feel very sad that they're away. This person, I feel like they really want to build some type of security with you. It's very much about the reason why they love you is... You remember, what was this card? No. Do more of what makes your soul happy. So, you have a lot of, like, self-love, self-love type of energy. And I really feel like your person, whatever you're doing in your life, your person has, you know, observed you. They have saw the things that you have done. They have related to the things that, you know, that you want to get accomplished. This person is someone who is kind of like your, your biggest cheerleader. This person loves you because, you know, they love connecting with you. They love talking to you. They love spending time with you. And when you don't, like, it's, it's, it's I don't know if it's a lack of security in this relationship, um, but it just feels like there is fear here, and I'm unsure of the fear. Maybe this person has a lack of confidence when it comes to you. And it's a lot of, like, sadness, missing you, wanting to reconnect. This person is in the energy of, like, you know, maybe, I think they're, I'm sorry, you know, when you first wake up, everybody wants to call you. Um, I feel like this person is definitely in the energy of either focusing on themselves, and it do sound like they are focusing on themselves, or they're watching you focus on yourself. It's like, I think they're watching you glow up in some type of way. This person definitely wants to talk to you again. And I don't know if you guys have been in, the, been in each other's energy, like really solid. Because it keeps on saying this lack of trust, um, lack of security. But I do feel like your person misses you. I feel like they think of you. Um... I feel like this person has definitely been trying to heal themselves as well and focus on the things that they want. It is very much like being passionate about yourself is causing them to be passionate about themselves. Um, I'm talking about that. Um, I don't get. I don't get. Mm. I feel like. Okay. I kind of get. This is kind of what they want from you. Um, this row. I feel like your person is. I feel like you guys are separated. You guys are not together. Y'all can't be together. This, this don't sound like we together. We trying to make shit work. This sounds like we separated and I've been thinking. This sounds like, you know, I'm not satisfied and I have a lack of confidence. Not I, but your person has a lack of confidence. And it causes fear. It causes um, having abandonment issues. It causes them to want to be codependent. Um, it causes sadness and thinking about each other in the situation you guys are in. That's why it keeps on talking a lot about needing to focus on oneself. Um, your person loves you. I'm going to go off. Your person loves you because of a, they miss you. It's some type of memories that you guys have had that really, really makes them miss you. Your person is still very much wanting you. 
you know, I think your person's still very much in love. You know, you can love somebody. You know what I'm saying? I, I love my replacement baby daddy. I love him, but I do not want to be in love with him. I mean, I do not want to be with him, okay? Got love for him, but I do not want to be in love with him. It's a difference. But your person is in love with you. They are in love with you. They are still very, very much interested. They still want to spend time with you. This person wants to build security with you. This person loves you because of you. I don't. I, I think they love you because of the things that you do for yourself. Maybe you showed this person how to love. Maybe you showed them how to get things in life that they desire. Maybe you have been, you know, getting shit done in your life. And this person is someone who has observed you and really, really loves that for you. I feel like your person, like... They want the same things as you. So I don't really I don't really know the best way to solve why they love you. I, I just think it's you. I just think it's the way you love you makes them love you. And I believe that 100% because you can't... The best way to show somebody how to love you is to show them how you love yourself. Okay? I'm so serious because... How can they love you if they don't even know how to love themselves half the time? So if you know how to love yourself and you can show people how to love you, they'll get it. And I feel like this person, like, you have helped elevate them in some type of way. That's why they love you. So if this makes any type of sense to y'all, please be blessed and not stressed. And I will talk to you beautiful people in the next one. Hi, pal B. How y'all feeling? How y'all doing? How's life treating you? Um... Who loves Pal B? Who is still in love with Pal B? Page of Wands. Okay. The Ace of Wands. I mean, Ace of Pentacles, the Five of Pentacles, come on, baby, and the Fool card. Okay, I'm going to stop right here. Let me look at the bottom of the deck real quick. Hold on. Okay. Huh. Or the top of the deck. So the Page of Wands is a card of adventure. Is it a card? It's a card. It's a, it's a page, so it's a beginning. You know, it's a child um, new adventures, new experiences, could be messages, a lot of learning, there's a page of wands, oh, new adventure, new adventure, new start, new pathway, new fire, new passion and energy, and then we have the ace of pentacles, so if this is a person, this is someone who is coming out of some type of poverty and going into a prosperous state, um, they're having some type of, they're going on some type of adventure, some type of road, some type of avenue to prosperity. And I do feel like they're going to find a new beginning. I do, I do, I do, I do. This five of pentacles is an energy that's going to linger though. It's going to linger in their life, some type of not, not being secure. So, you know how you don't have a job for a while and you finally get a job and you're trying to catch up. That's what it seems like. But this is going to be very much of an energy of excitement. But they have the full card, and the full cards are all about, you know, just just let's go, leap of faith, you know? So they're excited about something uh, financially. So they have a new, you know, might got a new job, business might be started, might have a new opportunity to make some money. Um, so who is this person? Come on, baby, who is this person? We have the fool again. I'm gonna turn my fan on real quick because even though it is seven o'clock in the morning, that don't mean nothing in Arizona.
I don't mean not a damn thing. Um. I feel like this person might be someone who is, who has the energy of a laughter. Um, maybe they can tell jokes good. Maybe this person is someone who is, just has a good energy, it's a good time. You know what I'm saying? Just making people feel good about themselves, even though they might be liking some type of security within themselves. Um, I feel like this person is very, has some type of creative energy. Oh, I know who this person is. You know those people um, that laugh, that you don't want to have a good time, always want to joke, always want to have just like overall good energy? You know what I'm saying? Because they believe in happiness and joy. This person might not always be the happiest person, but they are trying to live a good life. They're trying to enjoy themselves. So I, I do give that to them. They are definitely trying to enjoy themselves, even though they might not always feel joy. They want to present themselves that way. Does that make sense? But be very careful with people like that because I don't, sometimes they suffer from deep depression, you know, and if they're always making people laugh. You know, sometimes you got to be careful of those comedians. They end up killing themselves. Oh, 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 I'm so sorry. They end up offing themselves. I don't, I don't think I can say that. My bad. I'm sorry. Um, that is true. So, yeah, because that five of pentacles, your person has a good energy. Um, all those cards were good. It was just that five of pentacles. That's why I felt like it was going to be a card of uh, five of pentacles of lingering. That it's just going to linger around them. Overall, I do feel like they're trying to have a good time out of life. They're trying to enjoy the beauty and everything. So, how do they feel about you? Why do they love you? What's going on with that? Yeah, so for Pal B, why does Pal B's person love them? Oh. All these cards? Why does Pal B's person love you? They feel like you're a true gem, someone who's very valuable, someone of quality, someone of substance, someone that they can hold on to, someone that they can invest in. Um, this person feels... This person feels distant from you at, some t at times. They feel like you have grown in some type of way, gained some type of knowledge, understanding. Something with you has progressed and maybe has caused distance between you two. This person has grown as well, though. They have grown as well, and they are really... I don't want to say they're picking up on past. That's what I want to say. They're picking up on passionate emotion and feelings with you. Maybe they have been thinking about memories. Maybe they thought about the things that you've said. But it's overall, this person is maturing and their emotions and passion is also maturing as well. This person, like I told you, they have this very much let's have fun, let's enjoy life type of energy. They want to have fun with you. They might want to go out to a concert. They might want to party. They might want to go somewhere and just enjoy your energy. This person loves you because they love spending time with you. I think they have fun when they're around you. This person loves you because of the passionate energy that you guys have or had this person loves you because i don't is this a new person in your life mm -mm -mm. um is this my pal oh, okay <laughs> um 
So I feel like the reason why your person loves you is because I think they see you maturing in some type of way that has called you, caused you to take control of your life or control of your situation. And once you like they, they, they've seen you grow in some type of way, or maybe the way you presented themselves as being healed and mature and knowledgeable. I feel like this person just overall loves you because they enjoy your energy. <clears throat> they also might feel a very strong my throat hold on give me one second i feel like this person might be a past life lover why do they love why does pal be person love them the more you love a memory the stronger and stronger it is yes a thousand percent like I said before, this person is actually your past life lover, so that creates um, a deep connection. But also, like I, I think that your person maybe they have thought about the things that you guys have done together. Maybe they thought about the things that you guys said together. Maybe the memories that you guys have had together. But it's just something like them thinking about you makes them feel some type of way. I'm sorry my voice sounds so scratchy. I don't know why it sounds so scratchy in the morning. I detest the man who hides one thing in the depths of his heart and speaks forth another. This person has not said how they felt about you. You might not even know that they love you. Um, they might have said all different type of things, but the word, I love you. Or maybe they have said things that they regret, you know. Um, or maybe just hasn't said the full truth, but honestly, I feel like your person loves you because of the joy that you either used to bring them or they just, they feel, I, I, I got so many things going through my mind, child. It's a whole bunch of different scenarios. Like if you guys are new, then it's pretty much saying like, I love the energy that you're bringing and that I feel a spiritual connection with you. And the things that you guys are doing now, making memories, spending time, that makes them draw closer to you. Um, if this is an old person, then, the, that, then that person thinks about the memories that you guys have had, the good times that you guys have, you know, done, um, your maturity, your growth. This person really has watched you grow up and they really, really love you for your progression. So, <clears throat> please excuse my voice, but your person loves you because... The energy is good. Chemistry is good. Passion is good. Okay. So if this makes any type of sense, I have to go to work. But if this makes any type of sense, please, please let me know. It is my mama's birthday today. So please wish her a happy birthday in the comment section if you can. And I'll talk to you beautiful people in the next one. Hi, Palsy. Oh, it's Hank Hill. Hank to the hill. Okay. So, who is in love with you? Who is in love with you? Now, is this a who? Okay. Sometimes I will ask a question and get a different answer. So I just want to make sure that I'm um, getting the right answer. I'm going to rephrase that. Hold on one second. I'm oh, sorry. I have to yarn. Um, sometimes I'll ask, like, how do they feel? And then it will go into saying, you know, what are they thinking, their actions, and all of that. So... The Fool, the Hierophant, the Five of Cups. 
This person is taking some type of leaf of faith in their life because they're bored and they're not satisfied. Maybe they're trying to get more peaceful. Maybe this person's trying to get more spiritual. Maybe they're indulging themselves into church or some type of spiritual organization. Um, I feel like this person is also trying to learn a lot about themselves, trying to learn a lot about their future. Uh, maybe they're even trying to figure out some type of financial way for financial gain, you know? Um... And I feel like this person is not in a procrastination type of energy. They are moving fast towards their goals and the things that they want to accomplish. We have the world card and the world card is all about I'm sorry, I just got another message. The world card is all about the ending of a chapter, um, success, completion, you know? ready for something new. So all in all, I feel like this person is in a chapter in their life where they're ready to turn another page. They're, they're ready for something new. They're ready for a new adventure. I don't think this person is satisfied with who they are and where they're at. So they're trying to take steps and pathways to something that's going to be financially abundant, um, satisfying, gratifying. Um, and they're not having any restrictions. This person believes that they can do it and they're making it happen. Um, this person's in a very quick, fast, and a hurry type of motion. They have things to do and places to be and people to see. So they are moving, shaking, doing all those things. And I really feel like they're getting to a place where they're able to turn the next page into a better chapter of their life. That was easy. Should have that button, you know. That was easy. That was actually very easy. Um, so how does your person feel about you? Like, you know, why do they love you? So why does Pal C's person, why does Pal C's person love them? Oh, this person, um, <laughs> They might like physical intimacy. Oh, girl, what was that? Y'all know I can't talk. Y'all know I can't talk. I can't pronounce words half the time. They like physical intimacy. There it is. All right. <laughs> Gotta open my mouth. Um, but this person has been, I don't know if y'all been intimate physically. I don't know if y'all been intimate emotionally or whatever but it just seems like your person um that's that's one thing that they like about you <laughs> that's one thing um and i think this person also might love you because of the way you see the world um i feel like this person's feelings have grown stronger from you from like the memories that you guys have made you know and they also feel divinely connected this is the first time and this reading that it says like they feel a spiritual connection with you and this person does. Um, I feel like out of nowhere, maybe they've gotten some type of epiphany about how they feel about you and what they want and desire. Maybe you make this person feel safe after a time where they probably have gotten cheated on or hurt in the past. And it causes this person to like really because of their love they watch you and they might really like enjoy the things that you're doing on social media they might love to see your progression in life but one thing i can say one thing i will say your person wants to have sex with you they're, they're very very attracted to you sexually um this person wants to put it in you has thought about putting it in you has thought about the last time they got a chance to put it in you and if it hasn't been any of that they want to that they, they want to um your person loves you and it keeps on talking about some type of transformation um your person really loves you and has feelings for you because you bring some type of security to their life some type of growth and normally i would say that's some bullshit but in this situation sometimes we need security from our people in our lives because everybody is not secure <laughs> So I feel like you bring this 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 at home, like, you know, feeling good about each other energy. Um, your person really loves you and cares about you because you don't 
keep doing the same things that don't work. Um, maybe you're trying to be a better person and it's like this person, I may, or maybe they're trying to break up things that didn't work in y'all past and just try to make it work towards the future. I feel like this person really, really wants to get together with you and talk about like, you know, what, what would it take to, for you guys to grow together instead of growing apart? How does Palsy's person feel? Okay. I don't, okay. Hold on. All right. How does Palsy's person feel about them? Sometimes memories sneak out of my eyes and roll down my cheeks. Oh, a certain darkness is needed to see the stars. I really feel like your person, like memories, like thinking of the things that you guys have done, thinking about the things that you guys have said, spending time, like all of those things. And maybe even in a source, like has made this person sad, you know, that because you even have this card which is about missing you, you know, looking at old photos. So I don't know if your person has cried over the things that you guys have been through and done with each other, you know, and missing you and all of that, but they definitely do think about you and that makes their heart grow fonder. Um, this person has probably been through some type of darkness in their life, a dark period or whatever, and maybe you have helped them out of that period. Um, but overall, I just feel like this person has probably been through a lot and they see you as a shining light. So the reason why they love you is because you are amazing. How else do I say this? How else do I say it, Lord? I, I want to know what, what's a quick, what's next, because your reading is progressing very fast. Um, there's no restrictions in my reading. So let's see. What's next between these two? So if you guys believe in um, prayer affirmations and visualizations, please do that because it will bring you closer to your love. There's going to be a lot of passion. You're probably going to hear from this person and spend some time with them. When this person comes around and spends time with you, they're not going to present themselves as, oh my God, I love you so much. They're not going to do that. Um, they're going to definitely be wearing a false mask. Like you're not going to really know their emotions. But it's going to be energy of trying to forgive and learn and move forward and feeling good about each other. So if this makes any type of sense, it is my mama's birthday today. So can you guys please be in the comment section and wishing her a birthday. She reads all the comments and she'll be very appreciative. Um, and I'll talk to you beautiful people in the next one.